Čau visiem! Armand Simpson šeit Rīgas Dinamo. Nu ko, draugi, sezonu nav aiz kalniem un šovakar pie mums ir ielidojis pirmais leģionārs, Kārlis Stolri, right? That's right, jā. Cool, tagad ir diezgan pāri pusnaktī, bet nu tā gadās, kad lidmašīnas kavējās un šādu te reportāžu, kad, nezinu, nosauksim viņu, ka braucam uz Dinamo. Nelielā sarunā Pirmais iespējas par mūsu jauno leģionāru aizsargu, kurš cementēja saizsardzības bastionu sezonas garumā. Tā kā, Karl, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey, that was a long flight, huh? It was really long, yeah. I left at 8.30, I think, from Calgary yesterday, our time, and eight-hour time change, and another day later, so I finally made it. Supposed to be a bit tired, no? Yeah, I'm a little, well, it's kind of still the daytime back home right now, so I'm I'm gonna have a hard time falling asleep. Today, well, welcome probably. to jet lag now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Riga and actually Latvia is the first stop for you in Europe? Yes, it is. Gee, yes. that's yeah. awesome. Huh? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I've played uh, five years of pro in North America now, and this is my first experience being in Europe, so I'm looking forward to it. Hey, it's really interesting to hear from you something that you have figured out or get known about the Riga before you step into the plane to here <laughs> uh yeah i i didn't know a lot about it before but um i i trained one summer with colton gillies oh in, uh, out in the vancouver area so so i've been able to talk to him about it and he's kind of told me some things come on and, come on come on yeah, tell yeah, what I, the what well, he told you <laughs> says great people great city he loves it here and obviously he's coming back again this year so uh, fingers crossed exactly yeah so uh we're we're looking forward to that being together here this year Cool. Uh, you've played for a lot of games in NHL, none plays, none games yet in KHL. At the moment, actually, can you imagine what's the differences and uh, what is the game and play that you are going to be in this KHL style? Yeah, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I know the ice is bigger and I think uh, that's something I'm looking forward to, just being a smaller, faster skater, so I think uh, that's something I'm looking forward to being able to play on the big ice. But other than that, I'm sure there's going to be a little adjustment in the style of game. I'm sure it's a little different, but hopefully uh, being here a little early and can get, get adjusted quick. That's nice. Uh, actually, what what else is important for you? Uh, Riga, as I told you, uh, how does it sound for you? It's the capital of Latvia, but as I told you, it's so small and everything that all my imports needs to know is just the one street. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't sound like a bit ridiculous or something strange to you. Yeah, no, I I didn't even know uh, that it was that uh, that easy to get around, I guess. But uh, for me, coming from a small town in in Western Canada, out in Alberta, it's uh, it's nice to know that I won't be getting lost out here trying to find my way around. No worries about that. Yeah. We'll follow you everywhere you go. Actually, <laughs> you know. Uh, of course, uh, probably or definitely might say uh, you've heard about uh, our fans. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, I've heard <laughs> great things. I've heard they're the best fans. I heard they're very excited and loud during the games. And uh, I hope I hope our team can uh, give them lots of cheer about this year. Actually, they are really big experts and the pros in the hockey game, you know. Yeah. And if uh, you've followed for the last two seasons, unfortunately, we haven't made the playoffs. How do you think? What's the key points or key game? Those, 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 those most important things for making the playoffs in this actually jubileum season for the KHL for the Dynamo Riga. It's tenth in a row. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited to try and help this team get back in the playoffs. I know it's uh, it's a very good league and it's very competitive. So. Um, we're uh, hopefully we can come together quick as a team here right away and uh, just get to know each other and just start getting that uh, chemistry on the ice and hopefully we can have a really good season. I bet you've heard something, at least something, about our coach. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's actually played for a couple of the teams that I've played for in the NHL. With, uh, San Jose, San Jose Colorado. In Colorado. So uh, yeah, he's. Uh, Obviously, a very was a very good player, and I'm excited to learn under him, as a, especially as a defenseman too. I think uh, he'll be able to teach me a lot this year, so I'm looking forward to that. 
And actually, there are a lot of descriptions and describedness about you as well in the internet and elite prospect and NHL. And there is that uh, Carl Stollery is like a two-way defenseman, and that made the sense because Ozzy was the same. Actually, you know, <laughs> yeah. he just loved to go into the offense. Yeah, yeah, I remember watching him play and uh, really liking the way the way he played the game. So obviously, I'm not uh, going to try and beat him out there. That's hard to do, but. Um, Hopefully, if I just play my game, uh, good things will happen. What kind of player are you? If you just uh, need to describe yourself for our watchers, our spectators, what can they expect from you? Yeah, like you said, two-way defenseman. Um, I think I, my skating and my puck moving ability are strengths in my game. So, like I said, with the big ice, I think uh, hopefully that will uh, I'll be able to take advantage of that here. And, um, just play a solid two-way game, like you said. That's nice. That's really nice. How much you are already prepared for the new season? I'm excited. We uh, I haven't played since, I guess, the start of May, because uh, in Albany, with the Albany Devils, we lost in the first round of playoffs. So we've been done for a while now, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting the season started. It's, it's definitely earlier than what I'm used to in North America, but... Yeah, it's end of the August, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, but yeah, I've had a good summer and I'm ready to, ready to go. What are you doing in the mid-season? What's your favorite hobbies? Other sports, other things that you love to do. Actually, followed you on Instagram a bit. Yeah, a lot of lakes, a lot of mountains. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I was just uh, this last weekend here before I left. Uh, I went out to Banff National Park in Alberta, where we're close. We're about three and a half hours away, so it's it's easy to get to. And we went camping in the mountains and swimming in some glacier lakes. And uh, it, yeah, it's just a lot of fun being outdoors and hiking and. Uh, I grew up on a farm as a as a kid, so I, I've always liked the outdoors and being able to do stuff outside. With all the hockey, what are you sporting or doing more else? Yeah, definitely in the summer, golf. Golf, ah, golf is big, yeah. For sure, you will need to <laughs> attend. You know what? Our head coach, yeah. Sandy Sozo Lynch, there is the Ozo Golf Club. No way. Yep. Wow. Yep, with 18 holes. Really? Yep. Okay. Well, I better try that. <laughs> a out. lot of yeah. Latvia national team guys are doing pretty good golf yeah, play. I bet, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. I'll, I'll definitely have to get out there as soon as I can. What else? I yeah. This year, I, I was able to help with some of the farming back home uh, with my dad and my brothers and my grandpa. We uh, helped them plant the crops this year. Uh, so I was busy doing that, and then. Uh, just training at the gym in the summer with my with my friend who owns a gym and yeah doing some camping and golfing and relaxing and doing a few a few skates too leading up to coming here as well so uh yeah it was it was kind of short summer but um looking forward to the rest of it here too actually in the beginning of uh, this short interview i was asking you if this is the first stop in europe in riga and this could be a bit challenge for you as well i mean in a way of cuisine yeah yes or no no or yes we'll see uh, what, what you prefer actually yeah, then i will tell you what's the favorite <laughs> and what the national dishes are well we'll see is right i i don't know much about it uh i've tried to search a little on the internet i guess and find out but but if colty survived one season here then you will do as well <laughs> yeah i right? know yeah if, if colton can do it then i know it must be good so yeah we'll we'll have to go shopping together he'll have to teach me where to go and uh, show me all the good spots here all right yeah no latvian cuisine is really delicious actually close to the german one you know okay yeah baked and fried uh, vegetables and yeah. uh, meat a lot of meat actually yeah, okay you just came here right after we are celebrating the midsummer festival when the days are becoming now shorter and the yeah. nights longer and then in a 23rd of the june everybody is fired up with the fires and uh, grilling the meats and nice. we are calling them shashliks this is marinate meats on okay. a grill yeah. and a lot of beer <laughs> Everybody is singing and jumping around uh, yeah. all over the fire oh. fireplaces. So yeah, this is this is a really really interesting thing, you know. Yeah, no, that sounds fun. We'll have to check that out then. All yeah. right, nice, <laughs> nice. Do you have some questions regarding the place and the team? Where are you now? 
gonna spend the rest of the season? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> kind of what's on my mind now is just uh, get sleep. <laughs> yeah, go to go to bed and hopefully uh, I'll wake up with a clear mind tomorrow and uh, yeah, just start figuring out where to live and uh, just getting my phone phone for here and all those little things that you need to do car we'll not announce the phone number to all the fans yeah, you know, yeah, right. well, just through our press secretary <laughs> yeah for sure everything is, is going on for that. <laughs> and good. this is that street actually we are going from the airport now we're passing uh, okay. one, one big shopping mall and in front of us there is uh, the downtown and old riga old riga is just like uh, really in the world word meaning old riga yeah Actually, you know what? We have the time. Just let's pass the bridge and sure. just by one, yeah. one, one side of I, I'll show you because uh, old Riga has been established on 1201. Oh wow! Yeah, it's really old. Just <laughs> yeah, and still everything is happening. There are a lot of restaurants, a lot yeah. of nightlife, and a lot of beautiful churches and beautiful buildings. So actually, you know what? If I would be the hockey player, I would love to play in Riga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Hey, uh, I mentioned actually, no, you are without the bird. Yeah. But you have an amazing bird during yeah. the playoffs in the NHL. Brent Brooks <laughs> in a Brent, San Jose. Yeah, Brent Burns, yeah. Brent, yeah. yeah. Jesus, you can compete with them. I don't know, him. yeah. I don't know if it's that good, but yeah. Paskatoties, <laughs> kādas bildes, kāda ir Kārla Lombārda, nu daudz lielāk par mandai, jo noteikti. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I used to uh, I used to have a pretty big beard during playoffs and I actually had it again this summer but I, I shaved before I came here so We I need shoot. to earn we need yeah. to earn the beard for that's this right. season yeah. in the Dynamo Riga. Yeah. Take a look, this is the old Riga. Wow. This is that's this cool. is the river Daugava that flows into the sea. Okay, yeah. And this is that's the really president's neat. castle. Yeah, that's cool. It's really neat architecture. Wow. We'll have to do some exploring. Oh yeah, sure. oh yeah. But as I said, Riga is so simple as simple could be. Yeah. You know, you never lost in Riga. Yeah. But cool. if you do, then just say you are from Dynamo Riga player, and everybody will you okay. know. Okay. <laughs> good. That's good to know. And uh, what is all? What what else is good that? Here in the, especially in the old town, there are a lot of barber shops. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, nice. The barbers will take care of your bird okay. when we're gonna see when yeah. you will have it, have it again. Yeah, uh, uh, what's your favorite or what is your wish for the number on jersey? Uh, I'm not sure. I I haven't heard uh, what I'm gonna be. So most... I mentioned you played under number three. Yeah, number seven. Yeah, I've, I think three and seven are probably the two most common numbers I've had. Uh, I usually haven't been able to pick my numbers, so it's different this year if I'll if I'll have a choice. But usually the team just gives me a number, and um, I'm not too picky. But obviously, it'd be nice to wear what I have in the past too. So we'll see. How long that took you to take the decision? Yep, I am coming to Riga. I wasn't too long. Uh, I guess it was a while ago now since I signed, so yeah, it was pretty pretty soon. I knew uh, after the season there was interest here, and I uh, I thought I was ready to make the jump to Europe, and thought this was a good opportunity for me. So it was uh, yeah, it was a decision that uh, I was confident in making, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here now. All right. Enough to talk. Maybe in the end of this short introduction interview to our fans. What can you wish them for the new season? What can I wish them? Jubileum, the tenth, the tenth season. The tenth season. Yep. Yeah, this is this is definitely a big season, um, especially after I know last year wasn't the the result that I'm sure many of the fans wanted to see. So I think everyone in the organization wants to wants to be better this year. So um, I think it's going to be a, a really really good year and. I'm excited to see all the fans in the rink and just uh, hear all the cheering, which uh, which I know is different than North America. I know the fans here like to make a little more noise, and they do. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that this year too. So, yeah, I, I hope it's a great season, and I'm 
looking forward to playing in front of all the fans. All right, Carl, thank you very much for short introduction. Nu ko, dargie draugi, es tā ļoti ceru, ka šī būs laba tradīcija un arī ar nākamajiem mūsu uh, importiem leģionāriem spēlētājiem no dažnu dažādām valstīm uzreiz pa taisno uz karstām pēdām, karstā intervija sekos arī nākamajās reizēs, kad uh, dosimies viņiem pakaļ uz uh, lidostu, tā kā paldies, ka skatījāties, sekojiet līdzi mūsu sociālajiem profiliem dažnu dažādās platformās. Ciao.